Hello everyone, welcome back to P and Mr P. Uh, I've taken one of my favourite finishers or indoor lesson or little fun games that children like to play, a game called Word Tennis. Um, this is available or you, s you can use it as an indoor game um, if it's a wet day or you don't want to get outside or <clears throat> maybe just a bit of fun inside. Oh, it's a game called Word Tennis. Now basically just like a game of tennis we hit the ball back and forth. We choose a subject that you want to, that you both sort of know bits about. So it can't be a special subject that only one of you knows a huge amount about the other person doesn't. So generic subjects are great, or unless you, as a family or as um, siblings and stuff, you have a, a focus about uh, something you really enjoy, like Harry Potter, for example, is one of my favourite things. Um, so it needs to be something that you all know about. Uh, you choose that subject, you then take it in turns, like in turns, to backwards and forth, say a word to that subject. If you repeat a word or if you take too long, uh, then you're buzzed out and the other person gets a point. So if we were to do, I'll have a quick game against you guys on camera, uh, we'll do colours. So I'll go first and I'll say red. You probably said blue. So I'll say yellow. You probably said green, who knows, and I'll say pink. You can say purple and black and white. And you keep going backwards and forth until you run out of colours. So you can set a time limit for 10 seconds or 15 seconds. Obviously the, the older you are, the lower you can set it. If you're a bit younger, you can give them a little bit longer, etc. You might have different uh, time limits for different ages and abilities. If you want to make this more sports orientated or a bit of an exercise related and add a bit of fun into it, you can add either a forfeit at the end of it. So the loser, um, so you could play it as, as a point scoring system where each round you get a point for, for doing so. First person to five points or whatever. We could keep score if you're taking it in terms against family. Um, or you could do it as as a forfeit. So you might say there's 10 star jumps or three laps of the, the garden or you have to stand in a, a silly balance for 20 seconds or something like that. Uh, if you were playing it as a family, you don't just have to play it as a two. If you're playing as a three or a four, you would just take it in turns. So you'd go round in your group rather than backwards and forwards, obviously. Um, you can even have a little tournament if you like and have a little Champions League or so. Um, another quite a good one is to do an exercise while you think. So you could choose an exercise that you're going to play for that round. So we could go to fruits and vegetables, for example, is going to be our subject area. And uh, then... Uh, we could say we're going to do star jumps while you think. So if I was to move my chairs that way. And again, if I was playing, if I was playing against you and we were going to do fruits and vegetables, I might start. And while I'm thinking, I've got to do star jumps. And then when I've thought of the just fruit or vegetable, I could say apple. And it'll be your turn. You've got to do star jumps until you think of one. And then you might say, you probably said oranges. So I'll have a, do a few star jumps while I'm thinking. Bananas your turn and we keep taking back for obviously the longer it takes you to think the more star jumps I'm going to be doing and obviously the fitter I'm going to get you could change that to balances you could have little exercises you've got your punches or you've got to do jump lunges etc you might do uh, spotty dogs basically any sort of exercise or balance or something fun you want to do you could do a silly little dance like one of the best mates dance or a bit of I don't know whatever the cool kids are doing nowadays Anyway, hope you enjoyed word tennis and let me know how you get on. Cheers.